my great grandmother. And she was a wonderful sister in Christ to all of us over here. We loved her and care a lot about her. Uh, she touched all of our hearts uh, all the years that we've known her. Some of us have known her since she was just a child. And I kind of grew up about the same time. Cheryl Ann Neal, age 70 of Tacoma, passed away Friday, January 12th, at her home. A daughter of Albert Roy Neal and the late Laverne Copeland Neal, she was born December 29, 1953, in Plant City, Florida. She attended the Tacoma Church of Christ and was a member of the Daughters of the American Revolution. In addition to her mother, she was preceded in death by two sons. Terry Allen Cobb, Jr., and Joshua Cobb, Isaacs. She is survived by her father, Albert Roy Neal of Carnesville, one beloved son and daughter-in-law, Kevin Neal Cobb, and Jennifer Cobb of the home. Granddaughters, Lily, Emma, Bella, Maya, Sophie, Cobb of the home, and one grandson, Shalon Isaac of South Korea, and one great-grandson, Asher Cobb, of the home. I'll be reading some scriptures that Cheryl has pick, picked out. The first one is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Uh, hopefully everyone got song uh, number 759, Shall We Gather at the Middle? We'll sing the first and third stand. <laughs> Shall we gather at the river where bright angel feet have trod with this crystal tide forever flowing by the throne of God? Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river, gather with the saints at the river.
would not have you sad for one day. But in summer, just gather some flowers and remember the place where I lay. And come in the shade of evening when the sun paints the sky in the west. Stand for a few moments beside me and remember only my best. Matthew chapter 5, verses 11 and 12. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so the persecuted, the prophets who were before you. Some glad morning when this life is over.
Help them to remember the good days of Cheryl. Help them to lean upon thee for strength, knowing, Father, that if they turn their attention to, to, to learn more from thy, from thy word, that it will increase their courage and their understanding and their comfort, Father, by knowing more about thee. So we pray for them that they might grow in, in the Lord. We pray that you will be with all of us, Father. Help us to remember Cheryl in a favorable way, for she has touched all of our lives, and we love her much. We ask all of these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also.
the greater strength comes from you and lean upon you. Father, we ask you to forgive all of us of our sins. Watch over and care all of us in our lives. And may we ever love and obey you. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.